for the inside. This is the tricky part. Well, at least I think so. So you can use the number seven. And, er, sorry, not seven. This is 31. Number 31. And just use heat two for the inside. Try not to get the edge to scrape it or I'll scrape the sides. If anything else you have is like little dents. So you can go like this. Or if you're bold, you can take a torch to it. So be careful. Don't like melt anything because that would be bad. Right? You can take a torch to it. Smooth it out. nice and smooth okay if you're scared of using the torch don't use it okay just be careful okay so you can go back and smooth it some So now you want to smooth out the back too, okay? So this right here, you want to make it nice and pretty. So you can use this, 31, the pointy side, get a little bit of heat and work your way in there. Just make it smooth because heat makes everything nice and shiny, nice and smooth. Just a little bit of heat and smooth that out, okay? So you want to do that for the back. You want to make it as pretty as you can. Okay. Oops. So do that to the other side. And then for the top, you want to make this nice and flat, too. So get your hot plate. And this is, you know, if it's already perpendicular, you don't want to heat it. Again, don't want to heat it too much, or else you take it off. Or, oh, I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. Okay, you want it parallel. So make sure you put it on your cast. Get down at eye level, and make sure it's parallel. And make sure that it's at your measurement. So to clean up the top, just a little bit of heat, clean off your instrument of all the extra wax, go back in and just a little swipe. Nice little swipe. It'll make everything smooth. It's kind of dirty because I put those the marker on there. But yeah. See? Nice and smooth, nice and shiny. Okay. So just make sure you keep the measurements correct. You know, make it flow. You don't want any concavities. And, oh, that's ugly. Let's, let's fix that part right there. What you're trying to go for is symmetry. Okay, you want symmetry more than anything else. Make sure it's aligned on the ridge, and then when you look at it like this, you wanna make sure it's symmetrical. Okay, so, I'm looking, it's still kinda bumpy. So I'm going to try to like pinch it with my fingers and see if that helps any. You know, try to make the arch nice and symmetrical. Okay, so once you have something, you know, close enough and you're ready to clean, so spend a little more time on this. I'm just trying to show you guys like what I do. It might help, you might not. So now we want to clean up. So you don't want any wax in here because this is not, not good. Okay, not cute. Not good. So you can take the torch with a paper towel 
Okay. Or a piece of gauze. I don't know. Whatever you like. And clean it off. You can use like the instruments to scrape it off. Right? So just make sure you clean it because you want it nice and pretty. So everything. Don't leave anything behind because I heard that like they get mad at you if there's extra wax. Anywhere there's not supposed to be wax. So clean up your model. Okay? So everything back here, clean that all up. So to make this nice and smooth, nice and shiny, some people take a piece of nylon, like when we did like teeth wax up, just like kind of heat this up a little and then rub the nylon. Or if you're bold, you can get a piece of paper, dip it in water, you know, make sure it's not dripping wet, and then put it near the flame and get it warm. Please, please, please do not set the piece of paper on fire, okay? Because that would be bad. That would be really bad. So don't set it on fire. And don't set your fingers on fire either. So you want it nice and warm. Because the warmth from the paper and the water, you could take it to the inside or wherever you need it and rub and it'll make it smoother. Smoother and shinier. So this isn't going to work on like if you have big old potholes, but if you just need a little bit of smoothing, then this works really well. Just, again, don't set the lab on fire, okay, because then that wouldn't be cool. Okay. So you can do that. Do you see how it's getting smoother? You're just going to have to work with it. So clean everything up and use whatever works in your hands. And um, that's about it, I guess. Just keep working on it. I'm not going to finish it because I don't want to sit there and make you guys look at it. But key items, eight here, five here. Make sure this is parallel with the table, okay, at um, halfway, half, half the measurement of the retromolar pad. You want the posterior extent where it's inclining, cut it there, and then kind of ramp it back. Hopefully that helps. It's not perfect, and I'm a little tired, so I was talking kind of slow and not doing the best work that I could do. But um, hopefully that'll help you with some tips and tricks. And if you have any questions, message me, find me in class, whatever. I just wanted to get this video out early because we all have really busy schedules, and um, wanted to let you guys see it if you needed it, and that way you can practice. So good luck on the practical and. Good luck for the rest of the semester. Go YouTube!